Hey guys, it's May May, and I'm gonna show you a project that my aunt designed using this stamp set, and I think she did an amazing job. So, let me show you how it works. This is the stamp set that's called The Envelope, Please. It's brand new, and I'm gonna show you first the stamping that is required. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna stamp the large envelope from that set. And while I'm inking this, I wanna to talk to you guys about this. I had somebody ask me how to keep the ink out of the middle. Well, I struggle with that too. I get ink in the center of it because it's hard to keep the ink pad nice and flat. But if you kind of stay on the raised edges of the stamp, you do better. And also when you put this onto your stamp press or into say your Misty or whatever you're using to stamp it, make sure you put it down flat and don't get any air bubbles behind it. That can kind of mess you up too. So we're gonna stamp this larger of the stamps here. I missed some, I can tell by looking just there. Put that down again. And then I'm just gonna stamp it. And another thing, just give it a nice even pressure. Don't squish, because that can sometimes get that middle to go down on your page too. So don't squish, just a nice even pressure and let that ink sink in. And that'll help you get a really good impression and avoid that middle. Okay, now we're gonna cut this one out I also want to tell you with this stamp set, a lot of questions about this too, it does come with an SVG file. The thing about the SVG file is it's like using a die cut, okay? So the image is not on the SVG, it's just the outer edge. And just like with dies, it has a offset around it. So there's a little bit of an offset if you use the SVG. So for example, you see here how I have the stamped image and then an offset, but with me cutting it out, I'm cutting it directly out. So that's why I'm not using the SVG for this cut. To be honest with you, the best way to use that free SVG is to just make envelopes because it will cut the shape that you can just fold and you really don't even have to stamp it. You can just make the envelopes in all three of the sizes that this stamp set offers. Okay, so I've got most of it cut out. There's just a little bit more that you have to do, and that's this, these little notches. When you see what she did to this card, you're going to love it. By the way, I didn't even say it. It's one of the slider cards that I showed you guys um, last week or maybe the week before. I can't remember for sure. But um, she took it and just did the absolute cutest thing you've ever seen. So I wanted to show you guys. All right, so we've cut one of the um, large envelopes. Now the other thing you have to do is you have to cut this piece away. The piece that would be the front um, inside of the envelope, you wanna cut this piece away on the solid black line. So I got ink on my finger and I'm smeared it. I should have let my VersaFine dry, but I didn't. Remember to do that, don't get ahead of your ink. Okay, and I got a little bit there. So you're gonna cut this piece, which belongs on here, off. We're gonna use it, but we need it to be separate. So this piece I have here is 11 inches by four and a quarter. So it's basically a card base, but we're gonna score it in a bunch of places and fold it so that it can be our base. We're gonna score it at one inch, at two and three quarters, at three and three quarters, at five and one half, at seven and a quarter, at eight and a quarter, and at 10. Don't worry, all those uh, measurements will be in the description below, and the original video I did showing you how to do this will have all that. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my ruler, and I'm gonna make a mark. Now I think on my original card, I made my mark at a half an inch. I'm pretty sure I did a half an inch in from this side and a half an inch in from this side. But for this card, we're gonna be a little bit wider, okay? So I'm gonna come in a quarter inch on either side. That's all I'm gonna leave. So it's gonna be, you know, not a whole lot, so you wanna make sure you're careful with your cut. So I'm gonna do a quarter of an inch. Now, I'm gonna come right here and slice. Now, two things. When you're making your own card at home, you don't have to use the white ink. I just wanted you to be able to see that. Number two, take your craft blade and poke it into the scoreboard right where your five and a half inch score line is, okay? And then you're just gonna run that down using the groove to help you do this. And here, so I, I'm just scared that I'll pull all the way out. I'm gonna stop, put my blade in at the other mark and go back. So I don't pull all the way through and off of my card. So that's just a, an idea. And then you have this nice slice, okay? Now we can put our adhesive on it. I'm gonna put it on the top side, okay? So this is the top section where we scored on and I'm gonna put adhesive on both ends. And I wanna cover the whole length of both ends of our card base. So there's one. 
turn this around and we're going to put another piece here just like so and I like to take my um, one of my little ad adhesive blocks I mean I like to take one of my little acrylic blocks and lay it right here and peel that off it's really super easy you get a nice clean slice that way now I have my slider piece this is the piece that's going to go inside the mechanism and slide up to stand I want to make sure that it's going to fit into this slice I made and it does we're good so just a nice slice i'm actually going to tell you this i know you guys don't love measuring any more than i do but you could actually come in here three eighths of an inch on either side if you wanted to count eights and you'd still have room but the quarter inch gives you plenty of room okay all right now then let's turn this guy over and let's do all of the folding and i'm going to fold it all upward just like so on every line okay so it'll look like this this is the top and we folded all the score lines under okay now I can lay this one down like this and peel this adhesive away on one side now what I like to do is go ahead and stick this through here because it'll help me to center this up okay then I'm gonna come to here and I want this middle white piece to not stick until I'm ready for it to and I want that to line up even with the bottom of our card. Just like that. So just line up nice and even. Okay. And you'll be, you'll know it's pretty straight. I'm not quite as straight as I want to be. I'm going to move that just a little bit. But you'll know it's pretty straight because you're lining up this edge nice and straight. And it's already, you know, ready to be pulled here. Now for this side, we're going to remove this backer. And... I'm going to fold this over, bring this down, and now I'm going to line up the base of this again, all of this together, nice and straight at the bottom. And now that's your that's your basic slider mechanism. The way it works is you're going to pull the white piece and push this piece so it's going to stand up like this. Okay? Super cute, right? We're not done yet. All right, with this standing up, I did not ask Aunt Dottie if this is exactly how she did this, but I think it is, okay? With this standing, we're going to put the envelope on. So let me bring the envelope back over. You guys know I like to score, so I'm going to take this, and I'm going to score on this line so I can get a nice, crisp fold. And I'm going to fold on this. I mean, I'm going to score on this side as well. Just help me get a good fold there. So now I can just go like that and get a good fold. But if you can't do that, if you don't have a scoreboard, just use your ruler. I think I've shown a whole bunch of ways of folding this guy. I'm gonna go ahead and crease it while I've got it here. Try to get that nice and straight. Very good. And now, this envelope, okay, is going to wrap around this piece just like this. It's gonna just sandwich down or just hold, it's basically just gonna hug that piece just like that. Now my piece is a little wide, I can see that. So you might need to adjust. You can either adjust your fold or adjust your cut. I'm gonna adjust my fold so that I don't have that issue. I'm just gonna move this out just a little bit. This side is good. I'm gonna move this one out just a tiny bit to adjust it. Remember, this was not created for this. We're making this happen. So if you have to make some adjustments, go right ahead. Now let's see if that won't go better since I just changed my fold a little bit. That tiny little bit is not going to affect anything. Perfect. So we're just basically hugging that piece of paper. Isn't that cute? There's an envelope in the back, and it's wrapped around. So this will get glued to this piece of paper. So we can go ahead and do that. So I'm going to open this up, and on the back, for stability, I'm going to glue the back and the little flaps. And you can put glue all the way up because this whole piece is going to get glued on. I'm going to glue the back down first, and then I'll glue the sides. And I'm going to push it all the way down to where the slider starts, to where the slider works. All the way down. See how I've got it all the way to that line? Okay. So I made a mistake, and you guys like for me to leave mistakes in. I glued these down flat, and then I thought, wait a minute. If I want to put something in the envelope, that won't work. I don't plan on actually putting anything in the envelope, but I still want to leave myself a free edge just to make sure if I change my mind, right, that I can. So I'm going to go ahead and just glue the bottom half. So instead of gluing the whole thing, I'm just going to glue at the bottom. 
So this way, if I want to put something at the top, it'll have a place to slide in. Just remember that when you're making these. Think about what you're going to put inside the envelope. It will help you. Okay, now then we're going to glue this piece we cut away right here. Because remember, that would be the piece that would normally fold up to hold our envelope in place. Isn't that cute? There's the envelope started, okay? And this one, I'm going to glue along the bottom. This is how you can be safe. I'm going to glue it along the bottom and these two flaps right here just like that, and then I'm gonna place this down here. Now you will have to make this go into your slider in a few minutes, I'll show you how we're gonna do that. But this way, we'll still have an opening here that we can tuck something into. I'll show you what I'm gonna tuck in, what Aunt Dottie did, I'm just copying her. Okay, so there is that. Now you're thinking, but what about this part? Don't worry, we're gonna cut that piece off. Now, Aunt Dottie wanted me to remind you guys that you may have to make your own envelope for this. By the time you get through stuff, um, decorating it <laughs> and putting stuff in your envelope, you may have to make your own card envelope because this one's gonna be a little taller. All right, so now I'm working that bottom up, okay? So we can make it close and see how that sticks out, which we're still gonna put some pretties there. But you wanna make sure that if you need to, you might need to make an envelope for it. But to be honest with you, you could just give this as the card because it kind of has its own envelope, you know? Okay, now to make the cutesies to go on here. Super cute what she did, all right. So Aunt Dottie also took this stamp set and she used those three hearts there and the sentiment here that says, love each other deeply, love covers all. I'm gonna do that too. I think I'm doing this a little bit different than she did. She used all red ink and stamped the hearts like they were falling down into the envelope. I'm gonna mix my colors up a little bit, but I am gonna start with the red for this big heart first. And what I'm gonna do is just stamp it kind of at the bottom, on and off. By the way, this little white piece is two and a half inches wide. And I think I'm gonna come ahead and stamp this one again up in this area, like so. And maybe if it'll fit, maybe, should I do one more? I think I will. Let's be brave, do one more. Now around that color, I'm gonna use another one of those hearts and I'm gonna do this one in gray. Again, I think Aunt Dottie did hers all in red, which was super cute, it was adorable, and you could do the same thing. I just decided I wanted to mix it up a little bit and try these other colors as well. The only thing I'm trying to do is make sure they all connect because we're gonna cut them out. So I wanna have kind of one solid image of hearts. And then the last one I'm gonna do is the pink. And this one I'm gonna let fill in like everywhere, anywhere I need fill in. Definitely need some fill in here and here. That one looks like he's peeking out, that's cute. Because the darker colors he kind of hides behind, this little heart will hide behind and that's adorable. Now I feel like all of that is touching and I can cut it out. And here's how I'm gonna cut it out. I'm just gonna go around the edges and cut this as, it, as if it were one whole piece. Now the reason I'm doing this way, again, Aunt Dottie might have done this different, but the reason I chose to do it this way is because this is a slider card. It's got to slide in that little slot that we made. And if I put dimension on, it could get caught. So I wanna try to keep the dimension down to a minimum. So I'm gonna cut all of these guys out and then I'll show you what we're gonna do with it next. Now this is the pile of hearts I ended up with and it's not extremely sturdy right here, but I'm not worried about that because we're gonna glue it down to the card anyway. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to tuck this. Remember how I told you to make sure you leave yourself some room here? We're gonna tuck this in and glue it down. I'm gonna tuck it first and then glue it. I think that'll be safer for me with that piece that's kind of hanging loose at the top. So there we go. I just tuck that in, put some glue on the back and now I'm just sticking it down to our envelope. Look how cute that is coming out of that envelope. Give me a break, that's adorable. Now this is a slider card and remember, because we've made it a little bulkier, you're gonna have to kind of get it started, okay? And you can slide this up now for the recipient. And what they'll have at the top are little hearts poking out. So this is the front of my card, and this is where she used that sentiment, isn't that cute? I decided I'm gonna add a little bit of washi tape to this, I think, I, I rarely use washi, but I think this is a good spot for it. I'm gonna put a little bit here. This is a glitter washi, I think it's really cute. Trim off either side. This is where you get to be creative as you want. You can make this as masculine, as feminine, whatever you want to do for the person you're giving it to. I'm going to put another piece above Love Covers All. 
just like so. These little white marks I made to show you guys where the little marks should be. I'm covering them in Sharpie marker so they won't show because they were kind of sticking out like a sore thumb there. <laughs> but you can decorate like crazy and do anything you want to this little guy. And then when the person gets it, they can pull it open, stand it up, and put this on their desk. How cute is that? She really did a good job on this. She really thought outside the box and she really made something super cute from just a couple of stamp sets. I love it. I really like how the gold looks when it sits up too because you have that little shiny part there. So good, Aunt Dottie. I hope I did you justice. I know I probably didn't do it exactly like you did, but I love it. And remember, the reason she said you'd probably want to make your own envelope is because this extends out taller than a standard envelope. But you can always just decorate inside here and you'll be fine. So there you go, guys. A exploding envelope card. How cute, right? This would be cute just on the front of a card, even if you didn't do the stand. Thanks so much, Aunt Dottie, for showing me how to do this and for allowing me to do this on a video today. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys again real soon. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.